Hi everyone, it's Flo from PrettyTeesAndMod.com I hope you are doing well So today's look is a job interview office makeup look It's very simple, it's effortless and timeless at the same time and uh, I hope you will like it and uh, I think this look is very elegant and easy to wear for everyday life also So let's begin the first step, uh, I think it's important, is to prep your skin and I am using a foundation primer for that because you want your foundation to stay all day and to be flawless. Now I am using still Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is my favorite in all occasions, especially for very important occasions like job interviews and I apply the product with my brush like this a very dense foundation brush and uh, I apply the product especially on the center of the nose and with some dots here on all over the face I use the brush first and I use a damp beauty blender on the sides here on the outer part of the face so we don't have too much foundation on the line like this so that you avoid any demarcation between the face and the neck of course because I have some blemishes and some redness I cover that with my uh, concealer here onto the nose and here where uh, I have some scars from previous pimples and I blend the product with my beauty blender now this is the finishing powder uh, that I apply especially on the T-zone with this brush. This brush is very nice because uh, it deposits the right amount of product. It's um, very light so um, the powder is not cakey. Now moving on to my eyes, I am priming my eyes with this primer. I think it's very important, especially for a day like this, to prime the eyes and the face so that uh, there won't be any smudging or budging and uh, the eyeshadow will stay all day long. Now we are doing the eyebrows with my eternal Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in Ebony. Now using the shadow couture from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I am using soft peach on all over the lid like this. It sets the primer and also it gives you a nice even base and it also helps the blending process later. Now using Morocco, I apply the product specially onto the lower part of my lid and I accentuate the effect specially on the outer part of the lid. Of course you want to blend and now I am using Makeup Geek Homecoming which is a nice brown top shade here onto the inner part of my eyes to the center like this. I love this one because it has a nice shimmer but uh, it's not too obvious so it's very delicate and elegant. And of course you want to blend the two colors together to the rest of the lid. Now to give some depth and definition, I am using fudge with my uh, very tiny pencil that I love. And uh, I am lining my lower lash line like this. Still with fudge, I am using a blending brush this time and I apply the product here into the inner V of my eyes. It gives more depth definition and it creates also a nice contour effect to my eyes. Now using Bellini, I run the product onto the lower lash line like this. Now moving on to the highlight of the eyes, I am using a pencil brush and a Rapunzel from Makeup Geek that I apply into the inner corner. It gives some life and some pop to the eyes. And of course you want to blend the products nicely with this brush and the rest of the product together like this.
still with Rapunzel, which is a nice beige, yellow, shimmery eyeshadow. I apply the product here onto the brow bone like this. You can see it gives an instant lift to my eyes and uh, it gives more volume because you can see that my eyes are very, very flat. And of course, you want to blend again, again. Now, this is the eyeliner. This is Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper, which is a true black. I am doing the wing first and then I join the corners like this. And of course, you want to fill in the gap and go to the root of the lashes also. I am always using a mascara which is waterproof because it helps to hold the curl and also it helps um, to prevent any smudging onto the lower lash line. And you want to apply some mascara also on the lower lash line because it has so opened up my eyes. Now moving on to the face, I am doing my contour per usual. So this is the jawline, the cheeks, the forehead. And I am doing a little bit of contouring also on the nose, but very little because uh, we don't want it to be too obvious. Now I am using um, a blush, a very neutral shade because uh, you know you don't want to look like a clown at the office. And I apply that onto the apple of the cheeks like this and I extend to the outer part of the face. Now this is the highlight and again we want to be subtle so you don't want to use too much product and you want to blend very well. So I am applying the product like this, doing a C-shape uh, around the eyes, a little bit on the nose, the forehead, on the cupid's bow. But be careful, don't use too much product, you want to be subtle. You know that I love my healthy glow, so I am adding a little bit of bronzer on the area where the sun hit the face naturally. Now moving on to the lips, I am lining my lips because uh, you want uh, the lipstick to stay on your lips a very long time so it helps for that i am using bff from colourpop cosmetic which is a neutral nude shade i am using taupe from mac which is the perfect uh, your lips but better but with a warmth in it And on top of that, I am adding a little bit of lip gloss in tiramisu, like this. Now I am setting my face with Fex Plus from MAC. It's very helpful because uh, it uh, helps the makeup to stay on your face and also it gives you a nice healthy glowing skin. So this is the final look and uh, you can see it was pretty simple and this is the type of look I always always reach for at work. I love this look because it's effortless and timeless at the same time. I hope you will enjoy this very simple yet elegant look. If you want more information you know there is my blog and also you can reach me on Instagram where I am all the time. So. I hope you will enjoy and uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you very soon.